meters per second squared times the stair height in meters divided by time. So for example, if we have a 70 kilogram male and the stair height is 0 0.183 meters and it takes him nine seconds to get up the stairs, his power would be equal to 70 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared times the stair height in meters, which was 0 0.183 meters divided by the time in seconds that it took him to get up, so 0 0.9 seconds. And this is equal to 139.63 kilograms in watts. And so your final answer would be 139.63 watts for his power during the Marguerite Kellerman test. The equations for vertical jump, we're going to calculate a number of things. Peak power in watts, it's going to be 51.9, that's a constant, times the counter movement jump, so that's the vertical jump height in centimeters, plus 48.9, another constant, times the individual's body mass in kilograms minus 2007. Um, absolute mean power would be 2.21 times the force in newtons. And for this, that would be the individual's mass in kilograms times 9.81. And that gives his weight or force in newtons. Times the square root of that counter movement jump in meters. So this is different from the centimeters before. Um, relative mean power, when you're calculating relative anything, is just dividing um, the absolute by the individual's body mass in kilograms. So if we go back to our 70 kilogram male, who happens to have a uh, vertical jump height of 25 centimeters, this peak power is going to equal 51.9 times 25 centimeters plus 48.9 times 70 kilograms, which is his body mass, minus 2007. And for this individual, that would equal 2,713.5 watts. For absolute mean power, we have 2.21 times the force. And so the force, again, is the mass times um, the acceleration due to gravity. So we're going to take 70 kilograms times 9.81. And that is the force in newtons. And then we're going to multiply by the vertical jump in meters. And so it was 25 centimeters. That is equal to 0. 0.25 meters. I'm going to move that decimal point over two spots. So his absolute mean power is 758.8 watts. To get his relative mean power, we'll then just take 758.8, which was his absolute divided by his body mass. So relative 
would equal 758.8 divided by 70 kilograms. And so we've got 10.84 watts per kilogram. For the wind gate, the 